guys. I got Toby here. A lot of you guys have been asking questions about Toby lately and I decided that I would make a sit down video and talk about Toby and share his story. I'm gonna put this video in our Getting to Know Us playlist. So if you guys are interested in any of those videos, Getting to Know Us Better, I'll put a link up here. Anyway, this is Toby for any of you guys who are new to our channel. He is a two year old a teacup chihuahua. He is two pounds. Say hi, Toby. Say hi. And he is super tiny. People tell me all the time that he looks way smaller when he's not on the camera. When we're out walking, people are like, wow, I watched him in your video and it shocks me to see how tiny he is. So he is super tiny and he's shaking like a leaf up here. If you guys can see, his little tongue is hanging out. Just a little, it comes out even more often. It's because he has what you call a wry jaw. Sometimes with little tiny dogs like this, their jaw is, their mouth is not big enough um, to hold all those teeth and so things get mixed up and his jaw is not aligned properly. So his little tongue hangs out. You see that a lot with little dogs. Anyway, you may notice that Toby has on a little diaper and it's because he's not neutered. And the reason he's not neutered is because He's really tiny and he has a bit of a heart murmur and at this point it's just not in his well-being and to go under sedation and get neutered because there's just too many risks. So this boy is probably not going to get neutered anytime soon and he's just going to wear a diaper. And the reason he wears a diaper is because unneutered boys, right Toby, often mark their territory especially when they have girls around and for any of you guys who don't know we have two other female chihuahuas and he is always protecting them and keeping them safe we got toby a, about a year and a half ago and i was looking for my own dog my own chihuahua somebody for me to love i didn't think i wanted a rescue at the time i thought i wanted a puppy but then when i saw the ad for this guy and i could tell how much he needed me and needed love i knew he was right for us, so we went to um, visit him, and we and we got him. We got him instantly. Before we even went there, I knew he was my dog. I feel like God led him to me. When we got Toby, he had been only in a cage his whole entire life. He'd never been held very often. He'd never hardly been picked up. He had hardly any social skills. There's his tongue hanging out. If you guys can see it. Um. He, uh, his ears were all chewed up because he was in a cage with other dogs and he was so tiny that he was the lowest on the pecking order so the other dogs would chew on him. Also because he was the lowest one on the pecking order, um, he was so skinny. I'll insert a video right here that you guys can see that he was so skinny when we got him. He is still really thin but he was really skinny. We've rescued a lot of dogs in the past. We've rehabilitated dogs. We have foster dogs for our local shelter. We've done a lot of stuff with dogs in the past. I was totally unprepared for the amount of work that was going to be involved with making Toby a happy boy. He bonded with our other two dogs very quickly because that's all he had known. Um, bonding with us was a whole other story. It was very difficult to even hold him like this because all he wanted when he was when we first got him was to get out of our arms and get to safety. So he would jump. It didn't matter who was holding him. You could be holding him up this high and he would just jump out of your arms unsuspecting and crash on the floor. And I think um, he's had quite a few falls in his past. He seems to have suffered a little from all of those falls. He doesn't seem to get things as quickly as our other chihuahuas and it could be because of the malnutrition that he suffered when he was younger as well. Could be due to anything but I think that the falls that he's had probably have some kind of con contribution to that. I worked with Toby for a solid year. A solid year where he was like, no I'm sorry, I don't know you, I don't trust you, I don't love you. He didn't bond with me, I bonded with him, but he did not bond with me. I couldn't get him to come, we had to chase him all the time to try and pick him up and put him in his crate. Um, he would sleep with me at night, but not happily, and I worked so hard, you guys. It's been a massive struggle, and the hardest thing for me is that I had this one-year-old little dog, and he didn't know how to play. He didn't feel comfortable to play, he didn't feel safe enough to play, and he was essentially just still a puppy. 
By the time I've had them for a year, I was beginning to think, oh gosh, like this is not, we're just not doing it for him. He's never going to bond with us. But then something happened just recently. We had it for about 14 months and then something switched. I don't know what it was, something just switched. And he all of a sudden decided that we could be his family. And ever since that day, it's only been about three months, but ever since that day, things have totally turned around with him. In the beginning, I tried training Toby. I read up on a lot of stuff. I took advice from some people that are trainers, and basically they said, you know, you need to let him know that you're the boss of him, and he has to listen to you. And I took that route because it's the route that I've always used, and it did not work with him. It just pushed him further and further away. He is very timid and very scared, and me saying, listen, I'm the boss of you, always just kept pushing him away. The moment I said, Toby, I'm just gonna love you how you are, and whatever you need from me, that's what I'm gonna give you. The minute I said that, he became one of us. He became a part of our family. He just cuddled in there. Right, Toby, you're a part of our family now? Just like with kids, what works for one dog might not work for another, and what works for every dog we've ever taken care of did not work for Toby. Toby needed something different, something completely special, something special for him. And he responds really well to just gentle encouragement and love. And I don't push him. We still have a few issues. When I let him in from outside after he's done his business, I open the door to let him in and he still is afraid. He still won't come. I have to push the door open and walk away and he has to come in on his own terms. And I'm okay with that. I had to just say, you know what, Toby? We've come so far and I'm okay with that. Are you okay with that? So like, I just wanna rest. Like, what are you doing? Why are you just throwing me around like this? I'm so glad that I got Toby. I love him so much. He is definitely my dog, right? But another miraculous thing is that people will, all of our extended family will come for holidays and will come for a visit and he'll just climb on their lap and walk around and expect that they'll pet him. And when I see things like that, I'm amazed because that never would have happened before. He, oh, it's amazing to me that after all this time, he's able to take pleasure. Anyway, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope I answered all of your questions about Toby. We're thankful to have him. I'm super thankful for all the joy that he's brought to us, and I'm super thankful that God led us to him because I feel like this has been the best place that he's ever been, and it just feels good to be able to save him. I feel like we saved you, Toby. Do you feel like we saved you? I feel like we took him from being a wild animal and made him into a pet. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. We rescue animals all the time on this channel. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.